Hey everyone, Paintbrush here and OJ here. This is the second game of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Now we're ready to do this one again. The Sixers are back out in the, on the visiting side and they will be playing against the Boston Celtics. The number part of a rival team every day in between. If you saw the last part of the game, it was all for the star for the Boston Celtics to make that win. And for Sixers, they haven't scored yet in between, but they're looking to see if they can get another win and get that tight series up. If they can't, then the Boston Celtics will win, earn their way with a 2-0 lead series. But now, here's the thing. The catchphrase is on in between a Joel B and Kristaps Porzingis. But who will dig it out again? You'll find out soon enough. Joel B and Kristaps Porzingis are your setting guard positions. And it's Tatum on Tobias Harris, Kelly Oubre Jr. on Jalen Brown, Derek White on Tyrese Maxey, and Kyle Lowry. These starting point guard position with Drew Holiday. Now it's time to send you down to TD Garden Arena. I have a next one up, Tyler Beast along with Clover. And finally is Silver Spoon. David Eldridge will be on the sideline here along with the game. Now let's go right into it. Enjoy the second game and let's send you down to Boston for the second game of the night. We'll see you all later for the post game show after the end of the fourth quarter. Let's go. Hello everybody, Tyler Beast here and we are at TD Garden Arena to start things off here for the second game of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Tyler Beast and I'm also here with my sideline reporters with Clover and Silver Spoon. David Aldridge is here on the sideline. Tonight of a night's game is coming to be the number takedown in between the Porzingis and MB. The Process and KP are the big tall man defenders, but we might find out who does it again. I love seeing this one. This is going to be a great matchup, and I'm thinking that we never know what goes in next. Well, the same for yourself. It's going to be a one round ball well, night. Let's see how this one turns. And here we go. We start the second game off, and we are fueled ready to go. Kyle Lowry is on Drew Holiday. Then Jason Tatum is on Tobias Harris. Derek White, he's with Tyrese Maxey. Then it's Jalen Brown on Kelly Oubre Jr. And Chris Porzingis on Joel Embiid. You know, Joel Embiid had a great score and drive at that point. That's what it happens to do with one tough look in the offense. He may never know that you can get that one fucking fun. Here's Jalen Brown, he will have that time. Now he gives again to Holiday. Here's a three for White. Takes that in there for the deep. He starts things off here for the Celtics' three-point range. That outside must got that one pretty good. The confidence feelings is just a hard pick in the rollout. Lowry for the three. Triple range. No good. And B. Oh, he slammed that one to take the paint on the rim. And this one goes back up into the lead. Brown. Was fighting it over. Now finding Chris Aporzingis. And it's ball stolen by Tyrese Maxey. Gives a pass to Lowry, and he's in there right now to finish the drive. And that will go in here for a number two pointer flow in for the Flyers. Sorry, the Sixers. <laughs> Don't get confused by that one here. You'll see the Flyers next one. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, don't question me what I think of. Oh, Philly Flyers and Philly Sixers, and it's like a big team you ever see that one before. Now White finds again to Porzingis. Takes the drive, step back, and no good by Joel Embiid. What a great pressure here for Joel Embiid. He starts these off with his first rebound of the night. Embiid taking the three. That range is no good. You know, the hard part of a Joel Embiid doesn't take this. There's a lot of percentages like going over from at, at between the range angles at a time. Because that doesn't really happen for one of those if they can get to try to then what's some defender attackers at the moment. This really needs to get this one in a better shot. Porzingis trying to get in there now. And the two-pointer for White. And he takes that one and it's knocked out. Oh, the ring's going to be a hard one. It's not really easy enough to take this one at all costs. No one really wants that one to get in there, true. And another drive puts in for Tobias Harris. That goes with Kyle Lowry with the assist. You've already got noticed that the Celtics already made a loss against the boss. That the 
the Milwaukee Bucks destroyed them. They were really our best team in the, in the Eastern Conference. They really want them to win. And the higher average over the Celtics didn't matter. Well, I was really scared of what happened to you. But I wouldn't care because that's what happened. Because you know that Giannis on the foot with us again. He has everyone coming back to him. There is no other way that we're going to try to stop him. For sure. Here's why we covered up here on Drew Holiday after a three-point bait for Derek White. Screen on MB. Takes a drive. Oh, it's knocked away by Christophe Porzingis. Here's Statham. Trying to find his way down. Finally over again to Porzingis. He gets again to Tatum. Tatum. He went over again to Brown. Brown to make the drive. And good. Brown with his first bucket. They're tied up now. Well, great battle range right now for Jalen Brown. Make that one with a clear drive. Beating Kelly Oubre Jr. in every season of the game. But that one was no way up. The offense does have it all, but don't take the offense if you have it all. We see Tobias Harris here. That would happen to be 15 points of the game. And this was all happened to be like a constitutional. To make that one pay off the game. Well, it's pretty easy now. And you now know what happened to be a great look, a great play. I see so many attempts out there. They're really open pushing it off. Now, there is nowhere I have, I just don't know what they will do now. What do you think they will happen to be the next one? They will have to try to keep on going. Uh, what a great last touch for the lead, and it turns it over to Celtics ball. What a play. Al Roberts checked in as Porzingis is checked out. He's Drew Holiday as the team is trailed by two. Holiday now finds Derek White for the triple range again. And this one misses the target. It's not going to be easy now because Derek White is not taking the three pointers off this eye on strike. This needs to get this one get constipated in this game. At the right timing. He passed down to Uber Jr. Screen on the B. Trying to go over it again. And this one is missed again. And the scorper with the rebound. He has his first rebound now having over it again to War Holiday. Drew Holiday out again to Tatum. And Brown taking the triple range. Rolling in and out. Horford on a rebound. Takes it in. That's his first bucket and his second rebound of the game. Now I see Al Horford. He was always showing up that before. That one really starts things out with a good play from the switch. Boston had that one to tie that game. They want to be the close range. They're fighting rivals. But they're not always nice in between because they do dislike the Philadelphia Sixers the Sixers dislike Boston Celtics. They never really wanted to be there at that point. I think that might be the question out there. Do you think, Tyler? Well, I'm not really sure if they are. I mean, they really may not be nice enough to have them. Oh, man, I would never be liking that one if you were here. Oh, boy. Don't ask me. I would never say I would be a Sixers fan. I would always be coming in like, you know what, I don't care about sports anyway. All I care about is finding a good open basket, finding a great player that I can watch on. That's what I always go for. In between the visiting team and the home team, don't make that one feel like you're uncomfortable already. Oh man, you're always a guy. <laughs> well, you have it all there coming down to me and you got it all through. Thanks. Definitely. I'll keep an eye on you. Lucky luck. No lucky lucks for you. Don't take the clover room away from me! Don't worry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a new substitution for the Sixers and for the Celtics. Nicholas Batum is checked in with three or four left to go. We have a fair status over here as between for the Sixers. They're in last place with a free throw percentage of 82.1. You know, they're never going to get that when you've done impossible enough to the free throws are way harder than they've done. Some of the players can make the three free throws at that point. But this is nowhere happening if there's a foul occurrence on each team against the Sixers. That's a part where they need to get this one over straight. And here comes Pritchard. He's on his way to attack it, and he's fouled. Cameron Payne with his first foul, and that will be their first team foul for Philadelphia with under three minutes. Well, I was spotting on that one because the last three days need to be Al Horford. And he's definitely, you know, like a big guy. A legendary never stops. First free throw coming in for the Boston Celtics with only under two, three minutes remaining. 
and looking to get their team up in the lead in game two. He makes the first free throw. Let's say this, that Peyton Pritchard was able to do a lot of his target in this range. He's been excellent out there every step along the way to the Eastern Conference Finals until it happened, until it comes to the end, they're facing against the Heat in Game 7 in Boston. Well, he's noticed that Pritchard has been working really hard for ever since the Heat was coming in to play it for it again. I know he's been tough at it, but don't question that. Richard big needs to keep an eye out for his show right in between. Maybe he's finding that Chris Porzingis wants to get that one blocked. Or for the next defender that goes with a taller man in center. Or a senior, I don't want to know. I just never really want him to leave. The two now finds Reed. Reed with the layup, and good. Over Richard goes in. He ties it up the game, and this one comes to an even strength. Well, they're always happening now. Richard always saw that Paul Reed was getting in there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What a champ here for Drew Holiday. Oh, boy. Get the hell out of here. We don't want to see you anymore. That Drew Holiday just made a slam dunk. That's a high flyer on the rule. Nice pass. As Nicholas Batu has that two-pointer in there, and the assist comes up for Cameron Payne. Now that's a hard pick up for him. I notice Hopkins is really keeping an eye on that strength. Now Holiday has that ball with only two minutes remaining in the first period. Hauser tried to beat out Martin Jr. And the ball almost slipped away. Richard. Give off to Borfer for the triple and he's fouled. Oh boy. That one's going to be on Nicholas Batum. Oh, uh, not your team tonight there, Javio. That might be what happened in our fourth round been trying to get the three. And yes, he's been caught. That was red-handed. That turned it over right now, if you don't judge us. Three shots coming up here for Al Horford, and another team foul calls on Philadelphia. Well, he's going to be lucky at that point. Lucky buckets, lucky me. He hits the first free throw. Al Horford definitely wanted to become like a better legendary of the player of the month. But you all say for now, his current status for Al Horford has been really been kicking it off for sure. From his, along the way from, from playing with this team, he's playing with the other teams. First, it was the Atlanta Hawks. Then, it was the Boston Celtics. Then, he was played here for other part of the games with the Philadelphia 76ers. That is tribute with the OKC Funders, and finally, he with the Celtics. You know, it's, it's a big day for Big Al, for sure. I know he's been, like, keeping an eye since on that game. He always say now because Al Horford has been really keeping an eye ever since. And that's the guy you really wanted to choose for me. They love to have him back for the Boston Celtics, especially I do. Only two shots made, but missed the third one. Well, that's all I can take already. I mean, just really like it when he makes a two point instead ten and three. Sometimes you just want to take a break for sure. Here's Al Wolford. He will try to swing it over again to Pritchard. Pritchard now has it over again to Wolford. Wolford tries to roll it over now again to Pritchard. Pritchard now has it over to Holiday. Holiday to get on the five on the shot clock. Tillman Senior around the two, what a drive! Tillman Senior has got his first bucket. After playing with the, with the Memphis Grizzlies, he's now in to take his own time, looking for his help in the crucial for the Celtics. You know, I just really like that. That's what they all say. They can't let that one leave them out. And after that one, that alley hoop made that one successful. Richard now finds again a worker. Yes, again, to Butcher. Not finding over to Hauser. For the quarter three, it's to in. Makes that one another one of Sam Hauser with his first three point. Now that's the triple range. It's an under range up all over the rainbow. And drop it in. That's I know 
that's a great description out there. But don't be wrong out of the area, folks. Spin a move, Cameron Payne. Oh, what do you know? He made that 2 one look easy. Go back down with the 21-18 game. And Drew Holiday will give off to Tillman Senior. We'll finish the drive, and this one is knocked out by Paul Reed. He's got another rebound to take, as Payne has got one with 10 seconds. Rolling it in, trying to look over tomorrow with a two. That one's missed, and that will end the first quarter here. 21 to 18 to score, close game in the range. Yeah, you don't want to leave that one marked out there, but they're really the best team in the world. We come to the end of the first quarter as this one comes in to start things off. We'll be right back with the second quarter after this. Hey, Virginia and Jose, we've got the second quarter coming underway in Boston. Now, this is the close range out there, and this one start things off with the 21-18 score. Let's have your takes, guys, of what you got for. You know what I'm going for? You know that one takes over? Joel Embiid! He's like the biggest guy in the world, and you never know! The tall man from Kansas University! He's like the biggest guy you ever faced him! They make a struggle of him go appearance. It may not be what he's going for, but let's face the fact. If Joel B gets a rejection, he will try to get that one in there. But I don't know, this will constantly get over this if he can. Derek White makes a two-pointer and makes a floating drive easy. Now that's a floating switch. That one starts things with a drive early range in the second period of the corner. Just don't make the mark, just don't hold your breath. And you take an east pile. Styrus Maxi went rolling on the floor, and Chris Porzingis is trying to get back up with his feet. He's called with the foul as there is a second team foul on Boston Celtics. Shooting to the ball field, Tyrese Maxi taking two shots. Makes the first free throw. And you know, the only way for Tyrese Maxey, he's also named as the Francis. He's definitely one of the players down here, also from Kentucky. And with the Philadelphia 76ers, after playing for University of Kentucky with the Wildcats in the season, he's definitely one of the biggest of the guy, and he's always the newest of the new. But as a rookie player, he's been like keeping it on ever since. Well, that's what you know with Tyrese Maxey. When the Francis goes up, he might be looking up to the sky. That sometimes have to be looking at his appearance in the All-Star game. That's what he has already been playing it for just for this year. Now you may never know that the next season might be upon him. Always know now, Francis named the Maxey. The Maxey drive, or whatever you call it. Three for White, and good. Outside ranges in is Derek White with 11 points. He passed the minute mark here in his first, in his first half of the period. Now he's down with Ray Jr. Almost lost the ball. Screen on MB. He's going to take it over. Cutting into a slot. Finds Maxi for two. And I will stick it in for the two point range. They're back down by four, and they're trying to get to tie this game. And here's Taylor. He's another one for Porzingis. Porzingis trying to look up with the try. Solid performance for Joel Embiid. And Joel Embiid's not going anywhere tonight. He never wants to leave it here. All you can't say is, never leave me alone. Porzingis finds again Derek White with a two. And that goes in through. White's got 13. And Porzingis with the assist. Hot star for tonight. I mean, he's like a biggest legend. He's just might be going for him next one to take. Let's hope it gets more. And a great drive puts in for Tobias Harris. The back-to-back -back scores from Boston to Philadelphia as they're scoring it in between. Every regular season, every postseason, that's what they all do. From preseason to regular season and to postseason. That's how going to meet a coast-to-coast -coast matchups with the close game rivals. Brian. Over Tatum in the corner, and he's makes a three. That one's 
pulls it up with the first three-pointer, and he's on the board. Oh, Jason Tatum, you know that. The big down the main road. How that splash. Here's Lowry on Pritchard. Finds again to MB. He now tries to make the spin over Porzingis for the great D. Porzingis got his second rebound. Now gives off to Pritchard. Pritchard will now fade it over to Porzingis. He now finds a pass and it's broken up by Oubre Jr. The bag pass is not going to work like that and this one will not be easy if you can take that one going over and under. They don't want to leave that mutton by messy, messy buttons behind. They can't let that one fool over. He's Tatum. Find again to Brown. Brown takes his time, now finding it in the White right with the drive on his way, attacking motion. Has 15 points in this game, now with a 33-24 game. That's a lot of hard on this one. This offense is going to keep on running. Time ball by Philadelphia Sixers with only under 4-3 to go. Now they really wanted to say, let's go timeout. Let's get them a little break and let's go over to the new way. They really have to be out here a long time at F. But they can't be left out for With every game in between, they really do not want to make that one feel unaggressive abuse. They can't let that one go right in between the attackers and get from here. Now to say for this one here, guys, I say that Boston Celtics is like a biggest team. What do you think? Well, the Boston Celtics already have won 18 rows for the NBA championship, or the NBA for sure, previously mentioned in the news. Well, sometimes, however, you can definitely call that one in between for the NBA, and it's definitely what happens now, and he's been rolling over. Some of the games made it to the NBA finals, some of them made it into the Eastern Conference division of the game. That's what all happens before. Make that your work, the hard one pays off. They're just going to keep it going and going. We're going to do a substitution on the court right now. As we take a look at the status here for Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid has only had 34 points this game, but looking to get on his next rebound to pick up. Well, process is not always the rough one you take. It can be out of but you may not know what gets in his way. But sometimes it does notice that Tyrese Massey really wants to have her in me. Sometimes he makes it up. That's yeah, easy to take the call. Here's Tatum. He finds a pass over again to Butcher. Butcher now finds again to Tatum and now over again. Three for Bryant. Swishes in from the outside. Five points for Jalen Brown with under four. Phoenix doing big. Oh my goodness. Harris finds again to Maxi. Looking in the middle, step back with it to Uber Jr. outside. Goes in for the triple range, and it's Maxi with the assist. They made five more three quarters than the Sixers every game in the regulation of the period, but sometimes in the regular season, they've done that one more than once. Well, there's a lot of them that did five points in the three. Saying that the Sixers really wanted to get some threes, but they don't want it. They sometimes really want to reject that shot, but they can't let that one leave more. Deep three for Tato, and this is again. Uber Jr. with the rebound. Well, nice try for that. I mean, he's trying to get the three warriors. Not always easy. Well, it's no way to look out there. We really need to be out there for the better look. Lolly for the two, and he makes that one in there right by the free throw. Yep, yeah, now he always says Kyle Lowry. Stepping it in from the two. He has four points in this game, but he made two shots. Brown will dish up to Richard. Sliding across back to right. Tata for the triple. Swings again. That's another three-quarter for Jason Tata. That is six points for another bucket for Celtics. Tata, who rates you for three. Another miss by Philadelphia Sixers. Richard gives again to Brown. Here he comes. What a jam! You know what was going to happen? Jalen Brown, two dunks. That is a lucky moment with the jam. All pushed out. Watch out! Jalen Brown on the attacker! Incoming! <laughs> well, as he 
See you later. 
It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Bernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? They had a tremendous first half from the three-point line. Their shot selection was pretty sound, considering how many threes they took. And the confidence of the shooters, <laughs> now that's outstanding. Jack, what do you think about Philadelphia? First of all, what is the intensity going to do? They think when a team is pumping you like this, they just try to put a stop to it. But nope, if you keep giving up open looks, let the lead get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Thanks for tuning in for the second half, and we're about to get this thing started in Boston. Take a look at how they did here. For every part of the game, they were scoring back and forth. Derek White made that consecutive three-pointers in between, but this one keeps on stopping in, and this one is not going to quit. He's on fire on the early night. Well, his range for Derek White is really the biggest, toughest man you've ever seen. Because I know. He's definitely really well on me to play all of his occurrence in life. Ever since then, you know that he's like a professional. Yeah, I must agree on that one here. That might be a hard thing. But no need to worry. It's a happen to make the last. We start things off for the second half. That's right now. Boy Zingas is on Joel and B. Then it's Kelly Oubre Jr. on Jalen Brown. Darius Maxey on Derek White. And Jason Tatum on Kelly Oubre Jr. And it's finally Kyle Lowry on Drew Holiday. Well, that drive is going to put up here for Kyle Lowry to get this thing over with the assist. There's a lot of buckets in between the range, but they're scoring to get back in there to get a close game. Here's White on the outside. We'll now fire it over to Brown. The bounce pass to Tatum. Now he gets on to Porzingis, he goes up, and a two. What a tight shot, and Porzingis does it again. He has his first bucket, finally dug it in. Sixers trailing. With the three for Larry, and rolls in and out. And B trying to grab it, oh! That one's gonna be a hateful range here. First, it happened with Joel and B on that side, and now Joel and B on this side. Well, there's going to be a hard one there for Joel and B now to stop him already, but this is really like a hard to take over the line for sure. I don't know what keeps on this coach coming down, but they would never let them get away. Brown for three. In the range, good. He does it again. And here's Lowry. Harris. Harris in the middle, denied by Christoph Porzingis. Came me on fire. That's all I noticed before. A killing senior, and Christoph Porzingis does it again. Oh my! Flying so near the garden coming. That might be what they take on if you are looking for him. Is that me? Trying to give out to Lowry and Maxi. That defensive breakdown puts in for the Celtics. This is one goes to Carl Lowry with the assist. Tyrese Maxi only has eight points. Now he will give it over again to any other team. Scoring back to back traps is not going to be easy enough to take over at a time. No, it's not always that easy when you always take a good look at it and to go all the pointer and down. Here's Tatum to finish the drive. Powered in one. Jason Tatum with 10 points. The foul's called on Darius Harris. He will take his chance at the free throw line shooting one. Well, Nick Nurse wasn't really happy at all. You know what I mean? You know, literally. Because that happened to be Jason Tatum. A big try and successful. Range keeps on happening now, and this one, Jason Tatum, looking for a chance to take an extra point lead off of 55-39. And he sinks it. 
He has 11 points now, it's just only 540 to go. And now Lowry will try to move it around a little bit. And B looking for his timing, and yes he does. Joel, Joel Embiid has his third bucket of the night. He has six points in the game. Well, he's been already been scoring already, but sometimes defenders, he hasn't been scoring a lot. Every home game stands without missing the other teams, but he missed it playing against the Los Angeles Lakers in their team because his squad knee was over to be replacing him. He has to be out there for a couple months, but this is nowhere to take all of his timing. You know, the never is a lot harder to range. That's why Paul Reed has to be checked in every time. They really can't let that one fall down. And pulling it off is the typical way to make him pay for it. Here's a take. Jalen Brown over two and good. Brown's got 14. 57 41's the score. They're beating it over again. Well, they're sure to do. I mean, their last scores keep on attacking. Let's do it again. The three pointer makes it in for Kyle Lowry. That's the outside range as Tobias Harris with the assist. 4.30 left to go in the third quarter. As he will now have it over it again to Brown. Brown will swing it again to Data. Over again to White. White in the corner trying to look over again. The back pass to Holiday. Now finds Data. The bounce pass to Brown. Brown shooting over Oubre and will take it in. Brown. 16 points, just four minutes remaining in the third quarter. It's a 59-44 game. We need to keep on scoring here and they will take their time out. The NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure as connecting changes everything. Adidas. And by State Farm. Call or get a free quote now at 1 800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And if you join us here as we get your hockey game back on right now, as the first game will be heading it towards your way down into Toronto to start things off with the first game. As we have got the Maple Leafs facing against the, the Florida Panthers at Study of Bang Arena. That will be happening with the first game at 12.30 p.m. Following along with the second game as the Flyers take on against the Hurricanes in Philadelphia as Wells Fargo Center. There's a lot of going to be back-to-back -back changes in between, but they're looking to see if they can get there more. And then later tonight, as we got the first game ready for the Western Conference as the Predators take on against the Stars at Bridgestone Arena at 8 p.m. Following along with 10.30 p.m. will be the Canucks versus the Kings at Crypto.com Arena. If you're tuning in, you don't want to miss that one out. It's only here, right now, only on Son of Beast. And here's the Curtis status on the board for the Celtics with the points of the last 30 days in the game. 119.2, they're in fourth. Well, they're already been looking like they're in struggle a little bit. Well, I think the 30 points, 30 days of the division for the points is going to keep on getting stronger and stronger. They may not be able to get that one high enough, but hopefully they might end. They will keep on going. And here's Brown. Brown trying to take a look over again to what? He finds it over, trying to give the pass to Holiday. Holiday, in the drive, makes it in! Holiday's got his second bucket of the game and 3.30 left to go in the third. You know, Drew Holiday's always easy to make a drive, but that one is a great way to do it. And a good bucket race to take here. The next foul falls on Boston Celtics as Jalen Brown has received his first. Tobias Harris hasn't scored yet for each part of the game for the second half. Well, that happened to me like a little bit dirty already, but that one's going to be a little nasty for Jalen Brown. That's going to be a hard one to take. First team foul called on Boston Celtics, stopping the clock at 3.24 to go. Free throw for Tobias Harris. Now is a new substitution of Paul Reed. Buddy Heald will check on the court as Darius Maxi and Embiid are checked out. Also, Batum with a two. The new substitution are coming in the other way as five players are checked out. Richard Brown moves over. Tatum, Al Horford, and Tillman Sr. are checked in. 
and he gets a second free throw. Under 3.30 to go in the third quarter. It's a 61 46 game. Here's another one for Tillman Senior. He gives it on over to Oprah. Now finds Tatum. Tatum, oh my! Oh, what a step in! Did you see that, how he does? That is a crazy step in for a number two. Well, Jason Tatum had a little bit of a footwork. He just sat that one in there. He wants to do something different. He said, okay, I'm going to do something a little different. This time, I'm going to do it this one. And his foot technique just worked as a plan. Yeah, definitely. I love the new techniques in there. I mean, just give it up if you can. Well, we're not finding again until my senior. Now you will have it over. Give the pass to Tatum. Four to two. And good outside. Jason Tatum makes a number one. 65 48 game to score. 2 30 left to go in the third peak, third quarter. Excuse me. Now Batum will have it. He finds again to Payne. Payne will try to hold on to him for Pritchard. Tatum on him now. The shot. Oh, give me that! Tillman Sr. makes it two blocks in this game. Tobias Harris up. And he does it again! Paul Reed will finish the drive. Three. And with that one, we're down to two minutes. Pritchard will decide to take his timeout with only two or two to go in the third quarter. Well, that period just happened to be again. Unbelievable. Tillman Sr., you've got to get the, that one from my He was like the best ever. No mess on that one out there. You're going to get that one rejected. You're going to get hurt when you get there. That one takes it over with only 2 or 2 to go. 65-15. We'll be right back. If you're looking for a chance to see a new skit, that will be the truth. Premiering on July 30th, that will be happening right here only on Sunnet Beast. The new part of the uh, arranging of the skit will be all taking all for everyone in between. As you may already notice, the girl in front of it that all has to be with the truth by one in between of Sunnet Beast of the Unleashed Beast, along with the other one of Sweet Beast. The new one that's a part of it in with this object character now revealing a secret for him to find another way through. That will be the newest skit of the month oh, on Sonic Beast, premiering on J July 30th on, on this channel. As we get back, back into this one here, we have a new substitutional. Uh, Sam Bowser is checked in. Tobias Harris is checked out. It's right now. Martin Jr. is checked in. Here's Brown. He starts things off here now again to Pritchard. Pritchard. Again to Brown. Nine on a shot clock. To lay up in. And good. Jalen Brown on a smooth run attack. Well, Jalen Brown must have got that one pretty good. Tightness on his attacker. Just keeps on living it in. And he does more with this improvable finish step and drives and done it again. Two pointer misses off the mark. Now Sam Hauser finds it again to Pritchard. Cameron Payne only had two points in this game. He missed a lot of shots already, but only had three assists in the game. Well, he's really missing that one already, and it's not going to be his day when you try to get the step in. You know, this offense is not really helping us because he won't take too much time if you get this in there. We the range for Jalen Brown, and this will be knocked off the range, and that one turns over to Buddy Hill. James Martin Jr. on the attack, solid D. Takes it back. Martin Jr. lost the ball. Sam Hauser recovers it. Here they come in for the two on one. Boston Celtics trying to change the answer. Now back again to Horford. Wolves it again to Pritchard. 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Give it again to Brown. Brown trying to swallow it in for the drive. Now finding Horford for four on the shot clock. With the drive and does it again. Al Horford with eight points. 30.7 seconds in the third quarter. Al Horford never going to get that one done. You know, the easier way now is to, like, leave it from deep. I hope locked up. Great shot it away by Tillman Sr. To deny the alley hoop, and he has it back. And that one turns it over again. Down to 10 seconds. All alone. And he slams it down. Buddy Heal does his first throw down in the game in the third period, third quarter. That was a lot harder, and this was a whole little moment to make the dunk down. 
three for Butcher, and a hits off the rim. That ends the third quarter. 69-52 is the score. Looks like the Celtics are having a wild blast in game two. Well, it all happens to be now for Tillman Sr. You just got to get rid of that and block it out. Celtics are the one favorite team as we head you down to the fourth quarter after this message. And how about we have a look for the State Farm assist of the game? Well, pretty easy to say that the, the Celtics are doing really much of a hard work in the air, picking up the playmaking. What I like is Jalen Brown, he gets out to Jason Tatum, and this one's a great drive to take that one in. That's what Brown does, and he is playing on fire. Well, pretty terrific out there. Really love his performance. This is the fourth quarter, and we're about to get this thing started. For the last final of the group, presented by Gatorade, all field and set to go. Tyrese Maxey is on Drew Holiday. Venice Harris on Christoph Porzingis. Derek White, he's with Tyrese Maxey. Then we have his uh, Derek White. He's with on Buddy Heald. Then we have his Jason Tatum on Kelly Oubre Jr. And finally, we have it across here, is Al Horford on Joel Embiid. Here's Holiday. He starts off with Holiday to Horford. Over to Harris. And a tough score makes it in as Horford's got 10. The back-to-back -back scores keeps on drowning in. Well, that's what happens now because Al Horford was getting that two-pointer and this was a hard shot. He's making it in there. And it's a hard one, but he's trying to let them score. Here's White. Try to go for it again. Will he take it? Oh yes! Derek White on fire for the start of the second half. And for the fourth quarter of the game, he has 17. Well, he's been one of the best. I mean, Derek White, he's like a pro athlete. Got a big player. Here they come. With that Porzingis, oh, bucket one! Oh man! The wild things are having fun right now. As has been a stop. And now with a new substitution to look here for the Sixers as Betty Gilt's checked out. And the number one coming back in will be Kyle Lowe. First step, Porzingis. At the free throw line, shooting one. And this time will never be the same. He does. Yeah, he missed the free throw, but only has two points in the game. Well, you know what Cap Bucket 1 does, because that one really takes us back. And you will never know, you can fight back to it, or anybody can. That's what he always been knocking it through. All the day doesn't happen to be every day for Chris App Porzingis. Now here's another look for Holiday. Holiday trying to finish the drive. Up again he goes in. Holiday with six points. He has a number one for the field goal range, 76 over 45. Looks like there are smoke out here in the first half and the second half. But they've been really knocking it over to keep that one alive. Off again to Drew Holiday. Takes it again to Derek White. We'll try to give off to Chris Stepperzingis, and he stepped out of bounds. That changes over to Philadelphia Ball after the last touch was made. Now for a new setup change here, looking for Sixers to get a drop run to get back into. Tyrese Maxey on Derek White. Give it over to get a Harris. Here's a two. Put it in the range. This one rebounded by Joel Embiid. Trying to roll it in. Inbound makes the drop. This one keeps on coming down. It's right now Holiday will have to call his next timeout appearance. With wonder, we're here in a 5.30 mark to go in the fourth quarter. Well, we definitely need to talk things over. It looks like they're pressuring it back. They really are trying to get that one shown up. Well, for the rebound here for MB, it might be what you take, but you're never going to end it here if they don't win it. News with the games coming up here for later tonight as we have at 7.30 as we get this thing started here for the first part of the game. As the Bucks take on against the Heat here at Pfizer Golf Forum. That will be starting here in just a few more minutes here for a couple hours after this game. And then following along with the next game, the last one for game number two, it will be the Timberwolves facing against the Suns at 
9 p.m. That will be happening here with in between at Target Center after the Pfizer Dot 4. Right in between of Wisconsin to Minnesota. That's been between the next of the border, right in between. You know the thing I really always like is we all come from the uh, coast to coast of this one in between the north part of it in the eastern and western conference. But that all changes everything. You may be thinking of what's going on in between and what you can play for. Yeah, I really love that. They love playing in between and that might be the thing. So that will be all the games coming in here, right here, only on Summit Beast. So get ready for the game later tonight. <laughs> and what a bucket made for after Al Hooper with, a, with that one. Here's Kyle Lowry. Give off to Tyre Elias Harris, and we'll take it in. He's their two-pointer make. He has 10, and Lowry with the assist. You know, he never gets this thing easily enough as Kyle Lowry was giving it over again to Tobias Harris. That one really is starting to struggle things off a little bit, but it may not be what you wanted. Until then, it keeps on attack. Here's another one for White with a try, making in, and he loses that one. Maxi trying to make his way in there, Ali Uta, and Beto! Oh my! That Embiid's monster down just throws it down. This one not been seen yet before. Don't take it mess at me if you know I am the proud and strong ability. I am taking over on you. Now Derek White draw it for three. His three-pointer misses the target. Well, he tries his own best. It's not always easy when you get that one done. Three-pointer misses the other one. I'll go for with a stiff rebound tonight, and that will give it over again to Drew Holiday. Here's a pass to Holiday. Holiday swings again to White. White trying to get his way through. Again to Porzingis. Now I'm going to get it over Holiday with five seconds to shoot. Here's the take. Go for it up with a two, and good. Another one puts in for 14 points as Tyler, as Al Horford does it again. Well, it just ranges out there, man. Al Horford never been scoring lately in, the, in between. Once playing in the playoffs against the, you know, the all call, the Atlanta Hawks here in the 2020 to 21 season. It was not their way day, but you always know the downtown can fall down. Because they won't leave that one in the mark until the next range hits. Now here's the one for Brzezinkas. He starts things back over again now to Girardi. Now again to Jason Nader. Jason Tatum gets again to Drew Holiday. Now finds Derek White. Overhead to Al Horford. Horford can't hit the two, and this one misses again. Lowry and your team are trying to look for a number two as they are trailed back down by 4 15. The rebound puts in for Porzingis. Gets a smooth rebound of the night, and will give it over to Holiday. Holiday gives again to Porzingis. Now he runs again to White. White now finds again to Holiday. The bounce pass, not to touch by Willie Ubrey Jr. Now he still with the Celtics ball to remain. So under three minutes. Now he will just check in for Tyrese Maxey. Jalen Brown trying to look it over right now as he will checking it back in. Right now as Jason Tatum is checked out. And Jalen Brown's checked back in. Here's Roper. Gives it down to Dark White. Up for another two, and he does it again. That's 19 points for Derek White. Derek White seemed like he's not bad at all. He's an impressive star to The spin for finds MB. And two, layup. That's heavy contestant and stopped again by elbow. We have Portingas. Over again to Jalen Brown. And Drew Holiday will try to make another new change off here. Horford with the screen. Drew Holiday up, around and beat, and what a drive! Joel and B did not see that one crazy drive as he drew Holiday with eight points. Field for three. That one sinks the triple. We are under two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the period. Well, they really are dominating it up. Sixers and for the Boston Celtics. They really are knocking things down. They really want to get 
The ball's loose, and here comes Lowry on the take, and denied by KP. What a take for the Boston Celtics. 85 to 71 as the next one comes in for Jason Taylor. He will check in for Al Hooper. Back to a starting group. And B for two. Hit it. Number two. And he's fucked. Chris up for Zingas with the second horse And their first team foul will deliver it on for another one for Boston Celtics. The one on the 97 mark, it's an 85 71 game. Lowry taking two shots. He makes the first free throw in. Second mark in the fourth quarter. Now finds again to Drew of Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown sinks again to White. White trying to look in, in between. Can't find an open shot and he goes back to Holiday, gets a yellow run. He now finds Porzingis. Porzingis gets it over to MB and he takes it in. Porzingis has six points. They have an extension of 87 to 73. To all MB with the ball. Trying to get it in between. Finally, Uber Jr. That will take the assist here for Joel and B. Now that one has happened, you know, because this one really can't let that one sell you down. They really do not want to mess you up here because that one really takes another two. Another payback lesson. Finds a bounce pass to Porzingis. Gives again to Brown. Up for the two. Racing in and out. Harris now gets it Lowry with 30 seconds. Phase it. Yield for three. Takes the triple in the range outside. As this one races down to 87 to 78. But the time won't be enough. Holiday now finds Jalen Brown. Now has it over to give him a holiday. Holiday swings it off to White. Almost lost it, and Jason Tatum will finish, and that was it. Jason Tatum has finally closes the quarter, and that ends it, partner. That's my real game game. What a lucky win for the Celtics. Yep, until then, you'll be heading to Philadelphia and get right to work. So your final score is 89 to 78. This one turned to be romantic and the evening of the effort. Really? Be all the lucky luck moment. That takes all the pressure until the next one. And a chance now to send you over to David Aldrich for the closing player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks, Kevin. KP, balanced offensive effort tonight. What did you like about how you played? I think uh, we played as a team. We shared the ball, and it was a team effort today. And uh, everybody was involved. Everybody was was uh, playing good offensively, and uh, that's why we were able to come out with a win. Really looking good at both ends tonight, Chris Scott. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, for the second game. With me, Tyler Beast, along with Clover and Silver Spoon, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Thanks for watching, and have a great evening, everyone, for the next part of a game underway. See you all next time. All right, thank you so much there, Tyler Beast, and what a fantastic win for the Boston Celtics. Yeah, and an easy way to say that, I mean, this was a lot in the heart of a challenging, but the range won't be at its sight because that one really keeps on going, and this one is on the pressure way. Boston Celtics are definitely like a fan favorite team to win it all. Now, here's what they did with the total statistics. 73 and 62 was the three field goals and three-pointers of the make for the Boston Celtics. 
and it was a perfect free throw for the Philadelphia Sixers as they only had 100%. Then it was eight, per, 8 points in the break points of the game for the fast break of Philadelphia Sixers. Then it was 48 points in the paint. It was close enough to get this one in range. 12 second chance points was only Philadelphia 76ers that happened to be one of them at the best. With only 24 bench three points. And this one really has caught in it to make the assist one come down. They had 33 for Boston Celtics and that one keeps on near for the range and the sight. Then it was 15 defensive rebounds that puts for Philadelphia Sixers on the line. 22 defensive rebounds, Skittle, well, settle in there, but the skills, Boston Celtics had it again. 7 steals with Philadelphia Sixers, but only 8 blocks. That was crazy for part of the game in between the Porzingis and Exilman Sr. Well, definitely those two. I mean, these are the tall guys. You are just going to whipped it out of here, and you're never going to believe them. Oh, my. I guess that that's going to be a lot, like, a lot of challenge work. I'll tell you now, nowhere to be found at. No, no, not all, really. Only four turnovers, and this was only points off. He was taken for 12. Three team fouls with Boston Celtics. Seven dunks were formed for the Philadelphia 76ers. And it was 21 and 18, 26 for the Boston Celtics with their time of possession. And now, let's present your new balance player of the game after the three star players of the game. Take it away, OJ. All right, thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game. As we start things off here, this one goes off to give off a good look for Joel and me, but not this time. All three star players of the Celtics. Jason Tatum had a one block on that game as a seven assist puts it up. With one steal, three rebounds, 17 points. He only had done seven out of nine field goal range with only two three-pointers make and three three-pointers in the second half. Only 34 performance effort turned to be an excellent pro. Now let's move on to number two. Jalen Brown with 18 points, five rebounds, five assists, and one steal. Only have a great amount of a point average with eight out of 11 field goal range, two out of three three-pointers, that turned to be in between the first and second half. 28 performance effort and one dunk was performed. That was all takes over. Well done for Jalen Brown. And he does it again for all his effort. And for your number one star, your New Balance player of the game of the night, Derek White. 19 points with four assists. He only had that one made it crazy enough with only 8 out of 11 field goals. He's like already on fire earlier tonight in the first half, but this range keeps on stopping, and nothing goes wrong here. He does more times than he has done. With three three-pointers, four three-pointers, and only had 28 performance effort. I guess that he is like the biggest player that he has ever accomplished for with his goal in Game 2. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, you may ever always expect it, but this one comes in now. And that's for right now. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs for the second game on 2K Sports. Stay tuned for tonight's game as we've got you covered here. It's coming up after the long break, and then 7.30 will start here for the Bucks versus the Heat. If you're turning us in right now, we will get you down here on the other side here pretty soon with another part of the game, and we'll keep your eyes there soon. Peace out, folks, for a while. It's the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports style. This is Paintbrush, and this is OJ. See you next time, and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, somebody will. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.